Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Oh, today we're looking at a Speed Queen. And what had happened was the darn thing wouldn't agitate. And got turned on its side right now. Took a look at it. I've loosened the idler tension spring. And we could see that brass, this brass thing here right here, actually shouldn't be there. It should be a black. That thing right there with my middle finger shouldn't be brass it should be plastic um somehow or another that thing just got worn off there and got lost in the shuffle <clears throat> otherwise i might try and epoxy it back on but basically that little either thing has come off that so basically what i'm gonna have to do is remove the motor there may be another way to do it but uh i'm gonna have to remove the motor to put a new idler on it looks like there's no easy way to do this at this point so basically we're talking the bolts here and here and the bolts there and there to remove that and there's a little disclaimer for you don't try this at home consult your local professional okay so I got the motor out I have to disconnect the clip-on wires here just push that and it comes off I'm gonna leave this belt sort of in place so I remember where it goes but you can see that basically in order to get this off there's a screw on the top and then a nut on the bottom what usually happens is these water pumps leak and there's basically three you almost have to take the motor off too there's three of these hex head bolts that uh, you have to take off I've seen some people what they'll do is uh, they'll make this they'll cut this so they just have to take one screw off let's see how is it uh, yeah no I have to take two screws off you can cut these like for this one and that one back there that you can cut it right here and you take the screw off you don't have to take the pump all the way off that way and then when you put it back together you have to put that piece back in and then tighten it back up that's another way to take that pump off but I've seen a lot of these pumps leak uh, but not lately so now all we do is take this off and I got a new one here's a new one and this is part number 28800P Alliance Laundry Systems basically from what I understand uh, Speed Queen has been bought out by Alliance and so you have to get your parts through Alliance basically okay let's get to work okay so if you look if you look on top of here basically you'll see there is a C-clip now this C-clip was a little tricky to get off. I bought one of these Harbor Freight um, snap ring set. And basically these ends were too small to fit in there. So I tried to file them down a little bit, but still didn't. <clears throat> basically what I ended up doing was sticking a screwdriver and prying it off with a knife, basically. Uh, so much for that snap ring kit. So there's the little snap ring, and then this thing here just slides off. You could probably do this with the motor still on, but uh, I cho chose not to, and it's actually a little bit stiff. So it was actually a little bit stiff on that shaft. Well, not too bad. Um, so, yeah, just lost that washer. Okay, got it on. So one thing I noticed is this is the old... Uh, bushing for the old idler this old bushing actually took up all the space on the idler shaft so what we have here is we have a little play on this idler shaft uh, which may or may not be good it seems to line up fairly decent um, it's kind of like halfway in between both to be perfect and so it might work we'll give it a try